I'd like to welcome you all to this session with the wonderful Tony Lontis, who's going to talk to us about how she can guarantee a million people uh, will get to hear your message when you go on to her online radio program. And I'm really excited to be able to share this with you and actually to drill in a little bit more than what I even know about what Tony does. And um, Tony, I want to thank you so much because you are an invaluable person for me to have within my author business hub. Now, this is what I'll be launching next month, so I won't talk too much about it, but you have built an incredible business in an incredibly efficient way. Let me put it that way. And um, I'd love to hear a bit more about that. But just for the beginning, I want you to tell us the story behind the radio program that you run. Thank you, Jane. And it's such a privilege to be invited to talk to um, your network. And I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity. So thank you very much, Jane. Um, it's been quite a journey. Uh, I've gone effectively from a 35 year career in nursing to being an online broadcaster, which sounds a little uh, like completely out of left field. But if I explain the story behind that, you'll understand a little more. So I um, was born with certain challenges in my life from a congenital facial defect, which left me with left sided facial palsy which still has the remnants visible today, uh, although not as readily visible as it was when I was younger. Um, born into um, a, a farming family, uh, which is a tough life. Uh, grew up with fairly dysfunctional family dynamics um, into uh, working and nursing from 17 and entering adult life with a lot of trauma. And in the background of that was undiagnosed depression and anxiety. Skip forward to my 40s where I had the first of my major breakdowns. And for the first time in my life, I allowed myself to get help and start to heal and deal with that trauma. Into that space of time came another incredibly traumatic time when my then 18 year old daughter disclosed a history of sexual abuse at the hands of the man I was about to marry in two weeks. So that was my life as I entered my 40s and throughout my 40s and into my 50s I started on an incredible journey of healing, learning, education and self-discovery. And despite all of that, I still managed to have quite a high level corporate job. I ran my own consulting company and zapped across Australia, prepping day surgeries and hospitals to meet the national safety standards. Um, and then I got further down my healing journey and people, uh, as I started to talk a little bit about what I'd been through, people's first and foremost response was, you need to write a book. Um, my psychologist at the time had been encouraging, encouraging me to journal to as a pathway to healing and understanding what I'd been through. And then there's the acceptance that, well, I thought things were pretty crappy and it turns out they indeed were. However, as I got to that point where I felt that I could talk about my story, I actually did sit down to write. So I stopped the consulting company. I sat down in the July. I wrote until the November, uh, did layout and um, well, the editing started in November and did layout and finally went to publish in January 2019. And I had no plan, which is a crazy way to do things, guys. And I don't encourage you to do that. However, if you're following something that you feel uh, is your destiny, and if you're following your life and allowing it to flow from a point of heart-centeredness and soul-drivenness, things happen in a way that they're meant to happen. I published the book. And I had a desire to do the audio version of the book. And what happened was I found a wonderful audio producer in Brisbane, in Queensland, and she encouraged me and wanted me to narrate that myself. I said, no way. 
know how, but she was persistent. And eventually she promised to help me and guide me through that process. And it's quite a long process to narrate your own book. And so probably I think there were about six to eight, uh, two to three hour sessions of narrating your book. It's quite an arduous um process to go through and particularly for my book because it talks a lot about trauma and I had only ever written about that I'd actually never spoken aloud all the elements of the story so it was quite um quite challenging at times but my glorious producer got me through that Simone from Brisbane audio uh, book production is an amazing individual at the end of that she sat me down and said Tony there's something really special about your voice and there's something really special about your tone. Have you thought about radio or podcasting? And I am by nature very introverted and quite shy. And I was taken aback and said, no, nah, this is enough. That's enough for me. Um, so got the book um, done into audio version, got it out there, started building my social media network. So that's, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, all of them. And I had a chance conversation with a media company in the in America who got me eventually on a call when I'd asked some questions about podcasting because I didn't know anything. And he got me on that call and talked to me about the difference between live streaming radio and podcasting. And then what happened after that was he explained to me the cost of being on a live streaming platform. And as 2019 was my year of saying yes, without fear or reservation, I talked to my husband and he said, why don't you give it a go? So Radio Tony was born and simply he asked me, what are you going to call your show? And I'm like, I have no idea. Radio Tony was the first thing that popped into my head. And so that's what it became. So I spent the first six months uh, streaming live audio from uh, Miami um, in the United States and out to the world. And I discovered, despite being sick, before I got on the microphone each and every week, I actually discovered how much I loved talking to people about their individual stories and I discovered an intuitive interview style that appeared to bring out things that people would not normally talk about they talked to me about it live on air so towards the end of that year I thought this I love doing this am I crazy I'm a mid life girl with a history in nursing no knowledge about broadcasting should I do I have the right to do this but I was encouraged by a lot of people around me and excited and, and people were interested in what I, I had to say and what my guests had to say and I thought I need to create a business around this so it generates income because I wasn't making income from the book um, I think everyone writes a book and thinks that they're going to be a bestseller. And yes, there's pathways to do that. And um, Jane can help you with those sorts of things. But I didn't know that back then. Um, what developed from that was I found another platform which I offered audio and video streaming, just like TV. And I embarked on an audio video Tony TV style program. Um, I got asked lots of by lots of people, I want to do this. I'm too scared to do it by myself. Will you do it with me? And that's how the co-series products were developed so that I can co-host with business owners or authors and do your social media, the strategy behind your shows, because there needs to be a strategy behind your shows. There needs to be some elements that are important for the audience to capture. You don't want to waste your time on live streaming media without having some sort of plan. So my company does all of that, the social media, the blogging, the email, all of that. All you have to do is commit to the time and the money and we'll do the rest for you. So that's radio and Tony TV. I also, in addition to my co-host series of shows, 
I have um, two shows of my own. One is called A Conversation with Kez, and that's co-hosted with the glorious Kez Wickham St. George, who is an international best-selling author in her own right. And we host that on Wednesday mornings. And then my business show, uh, where I interview all sorts of amazing business owners about their particular business, and that's on Thursdays. And in addition to that, there's co-hosted series of shows and I've got a number of those coming up in the next um, little while, which I'm incredibly excited about. So that's enough about me, Jane. Next question. Uh, actually, it's not. <laughs> but what I want to do is just digress a little bit um, to say yes, about your audio book, because, of course, when we first met, yes. which was only a very little while ago, I thought, oh, oh I got to yes. listen to this audio book because I'm an audio book fanatic anyway. Well, I am too. Yeah, yeah. You can't really say it's a page turner because there's no pages, but I could not stop listening. It is just, it's so true about your voice, but there was that, you know, the way that you've woven the story and it's not too dark, although the topic is as dark as heck. It is dark. It's as dark as heck, but Mm. you, um, you know, you've, you've just, you've measured it's a measured approach. It's a fantastic book. And, you know, kudos Thank to you, you for, for actually putting that out into the world because we can only imagine the difference that that makes to people in a similar position. And it is um, staggeringly upsetting to know how many people are in that position. And, uh, I, you know, for some reason, and I think it is the book writing, the healing of the book writing, yes. so many people. Yes through my program yes. have a similar story and yes. I just think oh gee yes what does this say about the world it, it does say horrible things about the world but here's what's behind that I actually have a really deeply held belief that those painful things that we go through in our human experience are lessened when we shine a light and we talk about them I know that's been incredibly true for me and I've had lots of emails and lots of discussions with people who've been through trauma and absolutely without a doubt if you hold that secret deep inside your heart and you never talk about it and you never open it up to discussion it festers and it results oftentimes in physical and emotional disease. So I actually encourage people to shine the light on their darkness. And is it hard to do? God damn, it's hard to do. You have, in the words of Brene Brown, a vulnerability hangover that lasts a substantial amount of time. Uh, Not so much for me now. I can readily talk about elements of my story without too much angst. But in the beginning, Every single time there was that hangover of, of, oh, my God, what have I done? How silly could I be? Why am I talking about this? But the greater good is served when you allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to share those stories that have human impact because they give others hope and courage and strength. And then they don't get that feeling that I had of being completely alone And I don't want want anyone to ever feel like that again. And it's also the premise behind my broadcasting now is I don't want you to feel alone because being in public, putting yourself on video and putting yourself on audio is some of the scariest things that humans do. There's lots of people out there that love it, but there are others of us that are very introverted. And the thought of getting on a live stream and talking about either your book or your business is absolutely terrifying and I don't want people to feel like that because it's the best medium to reach people outside of Australia and across the world. So my audience stretches from the 39% that sit in the USA, the 37% that sit in German, the four, Germany, the 14% in Russia and UK, and then the balance is the rest of the world. And then if you add to that elements of social media, bingo, you've got a bigger audience than you ever dreamed of. And it's yours to use each and every week if that's what you decide to do. And versus traditional media is a one-off show and you're gone and forgotten tomorrow. That was the question I was going to ask you about, that comparison yeah. mm-hmm. between these two different avenues for getting the message out there. Yeah. 
I um I always when I released my book, it was my greatest dream to get on some of the known national uh, networks and and programs. But then I discovered that you can create that level of audience engagement um, across the world simply by being uniquely you. So I discovered that the platforms in the US, they come with an existing audience and listenership. So by leveraging my little audience and, well, bigger audience now, but by leveraging myself, connecting to them and then connecting to my guest or my co-host or the business that I'm working with, that quadruples the effect that you can have. If you're doing it just by yourself, say you're going to embark on a podcasting route, that's fine. But do you understand the length of time it takes unless you have a, and I'm not suggesting that none of none of you would be brilliant at podcasting, but that takes a substantial amount of time to grow your audience and an investment in all the things that you need to do around that podcast to make it successful. Whereas if you pick a platform that's up and running, they've got an existing audience. So it's then um, leveraging their audience and network with yours and someone else's and you get, in my instance, my the people that work with me, they get that live show each and every week. And then the live show is converted to a podcast and distributed worldwide. And then the live video is uploaded to Tony TV channels on Roku, Samsung and LG smart TVs across the planet, plus the binge networks in the US. So what we're doing is we're leveraging that one live show into multiple other avenues to get you in front of as many people as possible. And then those live shows, they are yours. So I do everything from the distribution, et cetera, with those shows, but then I send you the files and you can put them on your website. You can put them on the social media. You can chop them up into videos, audio bites, social media posts, they're yours to keep. And that's the other important thing. Um, often with the bigger networks, they remain, uh, they uh, have ownership of your content. Whereas if you do it this way, you have owner, ownership of your content. And I can tell you one 55 minute show will adequately deliver a month to six weeks worth of um, social media content easily. And it's just a matter of repurposing what you've got. This is insane. Hey, Jane. Yeah, you, you go. I, I, I had no idea that that was how it worked. That yes. makes yes. so much sense. It's, I, I, yes. I'm, I'm flabbergasted, though, about that opportunity on all of those platforms. This is really starting to make a heck of a lot of sense now because I was really, you know, yeah. racking my brains about, you know, I'm having a conversation with you when we first met, you know, lovely yeah. person, yes. genuine person, incredible story, but it was still bugging me um, and a bit of comparative. I was just yes. thinking, how the hell did she yes. build that business so quickly? I want that information. Yes. I just, you just, yes. you you found that medium yes. that is, I you know, I'm barely able to work my phone, frankly, Tony, but it's that thing about the 21st century in terms of what you can do, what the average person can do, and you've packaged it up. I just love it. I love this. And see, the other thing is that we're all busy people, particularly authors and business owners. You're always working on the next project. So part of using those American platforms is that um, it's all done over Zoom or Skype. Uh, they grab your raw live interview. They edit it, audit it, and send it back to you. They do the distribution. And then on top of that, if you add your own efforts, you can really expand your reach. So it took me, and this took me a while to discover this because uh, from my perspective, Australians weren't familiar with online radio or streaming TV. We're becoming much, much better at that, but it's big in the US. The other thing is that if you're an Australian and you're wanting US dollars for your books, your products, whatever it is that you do, you want your money in US dollars. So if you partner with a US-based platform, you get that American audience just by fact that you're partnered with that platform anyway. And then it's just about expanding your reach from there. 
we had um, one author on my show, and uh, he just he just he just comes on peri- periodically and does one show, and he has a big following in the US, and he has a, a substantial email list and substantial followers. However, when he came on the show, his website um, traffic increased by thirty-seven uh, percent twenty-four hours post the show. His sales increased twelve percent. Uh, post show his email subscribers went up um, 12% post uh, show so those sorts of things can happen and it's it's variable and depends on the day of the week and the time that the show goes to air but those are the sorts of results that you can create with a little bit of work and forethought and again that's what led to my co-hosted shows where we start to work together I do we do one-on-ones and some strategy and education and and off we go tell me a little bit more about your work with authors though because I know um, I'm thinking I used to think I was a big deal with my author showcase events which I'll still take yeah. credit for that, though, because that that is a fabulous piece of footage I get back it to is authors. but hey what do you know when I'm looking at your website I see one of my authors Michelle Slide who spoke at the last yes. author showcase and she's one of your yes. co um you know your co-pilots co-host yeah tell yes. us a little more not to go too much so, into Michelle's story but with the no, no, that's fine. That package Michelle there. Michelle's incredible human being and she um, wrote um, an amazing book on um, sexual assault which is kind of a tricky subject however we did a series of six shows on exactly that topic and so she um, wanted to talk about the book she wanted to talk about the elements of the book and she wanted to tell people how she helps uh, in that her particular area of expertise and I guess that's what the crux of the show comes back to every human's unique you have unique skills and knowledge and there are humans across the planet that need your help need your understanding and your education so with Michelle we packaged that up into six shows we divided the six shows up into different elements that related to her book and then the final show was about connecting people and how they connect with her how she can help them and her programs and that's what I do so i very passionate about my businesses i.e my co-hosts that I work with I want results for you so it's for some and results look different for different people so for Michelle it was an awareness and an online presence for others it's about sales of their courses for others it's about show me how to do this and then I'll go and do it myself so one of my co-hosts at the beginning of the year is an energy healer and her expertise is in a, a subject called crystal surgery but let me tell you they have been by far the most popular shows that we've done so far so her average views after her shows on YouTube were in the thousands and Subsequent to that, she's been picked up by another network in the States and has gone on to co-host with her husband another new series of shows. So it's not always about sales. It's sometimes about getting you out there, getting you in front of more people that go, oh, my God, I want to work with Jane. I heard about what Jane does. I want to work with Jane. It's as simple as that. And the, the other piece in there as well, Tony, is that it's content creation. So I know that some of my yes. authors at the showcase, and I bet some of yours here too, are thinking about, okay, yes. if I can be strategic about what I say and how I say it, yes. it could become a six video um, lead magnet or something. It could be a six Absolutely. online program. So it's that that whole thing of being strategic. And you said that earlier too. Of, yes. I think about yes. Work with the end in mind. Exactly. So some of my co-hosts have gone on to do exactly that. They've We've done the six shows and they've created that into a series of webinars. Others have taken portions of that and used it for staff education. Um, one of my co-hosts um, who I talked, I still talk to lots of my co-hosts all the time. Um, and one of them, we, we still have a monthly call just because I love it to death. 
And she said that she's still getting, we did our show in September last year. She's still getting connections, contacts and emails on the back of that show. So the content actually it, it stays around for a substantial amount of time. Um, and of course, it's always there on YouTube. And she said to me the other day when she rang that one of her um, newest clients had actually gone onto YouTube to have a look at the stuff that we've been talking about. And her subject is corporate governance and heart-centered leadership. So it's about risk management and, and uh, being a director of a corporation, that sort of stuff, which, you know, most of us would not be interested in but it was good because I've had that corporate experience so I could talk and understand exactly what she was saying and therefore be passionate and I guess that comes back to the book too Jane there's a lot of history wisdom and story in in that in my life so I can actually usually any subject that someone wants to talk about I've got some knowledge and experience and if I haven't then I'll find it yeah fantastic now the thing I am very curious about is your POS system. It's not point of sale. Yes. So let us know what it is. I realised that after we did it and thought, oh gosh, that probably wasn't the best. And I thought, oh, it's really simple. So POS stands for preparation, organisation and showtime. So preparation is about that market research, the research that I do into you, your business, your books, the knowledge I get from the um, information that we get from you and it's about preparing, it's about the strategy and it's about setting up the technical components that make the show better than the rest. So the intros, the outros, doing advertisements, if they're applicable, all those things go into preparation. And then comes the organisation and that's making sure that you've got um, a wonderful Zoom background if that's what you want. It's about creating the social media and the um, social media collateral that we use throughout the program. It's about making sure that we have a time in your diary that you know about and that you're prepared for. Uh, and, and all of the things that go into producing a live show. It's telling you about microphone, microphone technique. It's talking about camera and camera work. All of those things go into that section. And then the last time is show time. And that's where you'll feel the pre-show nerves. And many, many people go, oh, my God, what have I done? This is really scary. But I create a safe space for you and I to create the magic that makes a great show. And I know this because often, like many, many times, people say to me, this is a safe space. I feel so safe talking to you and that's what I want to create. Because when you're feeling safe, then you intuitively give the audience the nuggets of gold and wisdom that they need to hear. Uh, and then we go do our shows and then after it's all done then we um, reconnect and I share the files with you we make sure that you are continuing on your growth pattern for some people it means hey I want to keep doing this how can I get a show of my own and we can do that for you um, and my next piece of work is around organizing so that I have a team that will actually repurpose the social media for you. So that's my next piece of work. Perfect. I love that. Look, I just think, in, in unless there's something else that you want to say, I bet there's a million questions people are almost <laughs> bursting to ask. So how about we open the floor <laughs> now for questions and just unmute yourselves, guys. And when you finish the question, if you could mute yourself again, that would be great. So whoever wants to go first. Hi, Tony. Um, I loved hearing about your... Hi, um, hi I'm here. Hello. I've, got, I've actually got a question for you. I've got... Um, I'm into yeah. kind of halfway through season two of my um, podcast series, A Moment with Modern Mentors, where I've been interviewing largely business women, but business people about what they're experience has been and um, I kind of use it as a bit of a marketing tool for my own digital yes. marketing business. Um, yeah. They're up on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, but uh, I love the idea about getting an, a US audience because I also do coaching, yeah. business coaching as well. 
Um, and I would yeah. really like to kind of explore doing business coaching in the US. So what's yeah. the best way to kind of get those podcasts up on the US platforms? So again, the way that I do it is partnering with a paid platform in the US. So my, uh, and there's a number of them. I use BBS Radio TV for a number of reasons. Um, I researched all of the platforms and I wanted a platform who could offer me analytics. So I like to know who's watching, where they're from, uh, the demographics around the percentages, the numbers of views and the numbers of hits. And I also, um, that particular platform that I use, BBS Radio TV, mm -hmm. they do the podcast distribution for me. So not only do you go live to air, but they then convert it to a podcast and distribute it everywhere for me. So that's what I mean about leveraging what they do best, which is show production and distribution and using that to get into the US market. So from your perspective, you're already doing podcasts um, and I'm guessing that you're doing the auditing no, yourself I, or paying. No, I have, I have an editor, a video and an audio editor, so a podcast editor to do it all for me and to load it up. So it looks very professional. It's top and tailed. It's got yes. intros and outros yes. and yes. Um, yes. supporting video. So it's quite quite developed <clears throat> but yes. um it's it's more of an a kind of like in a b2b marketing tool here rather than helping me get consumer clients yeah your coaching clients so I, again i can't say highly enough about the value of a live audience so the live audience is first component it's like a layered way of touch points for those of you in marketing you'd know that you need multiple touch points for people to engage and slash purchase from you so this process that I use is just about making sure there's a heaps of touch points for those people so they're going to hear you on the live show then they're going to um, perhaps re-listen to the podcast and in my case then there's the opportunity for them to see you on Tony TV channel so these are all I pay to play if that makes sense and it's an investment that I think is incredibly valuable for me and my business because just by myself, I would eventually get to this point. But by paying for those things, paying for those platforms rather, that enables me to tap into an audience and a predominantly US marketplace instantly by virtue of the fact that they are American platforms to begin with. Yeah. See, the Australian market, it is so small. And Mia, there's abs they love Australian coaches. So I could, do, after this call, um, yeah. we'll put up my email in the chat box for people to uh, connect with me. And, and I'm happy to jump on a call and tell you what, what to do and how, how to go about it. Awesome. And that would be awesome. From, Thank you very much. Yeah. My pleasure. Thanks. Does that answer your question enough, Mia? It does. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thanks, Mia. And who else has a question for Tony? There's Island. a question in the chat. Oh, there's a question in the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, how much Let is the investment? Let me just go back and have a look. Yes, how much is the investment? So the investment for me and my packages. So at the moment, um, I'm on the last day of a June special. So my June special was six packages for the price of four. Um, and my four week package is 4,995. The six week is 6,995. Eight week is 8,995 plus GST for Australian uh, listeners. Uh, is converted for American listeners, but that includes um, if you, so to put it in perspective, if you wanted to do a 15 second ad on a national TV channel, it would cost you in the vicinity of $15,000. So just as a comparison, what you get is me, my time, the strategy, the know-how, the education and your shows set up. And then you can create 
or be as creative as you want with those shows. So I've got um, an international artist coming on the show in, in about six weeks' time, and we are going to talk about uh, how to commission a personal artwork. We're going to demonstrate her artistic process. We're going to talk about the... Uh, products that she uses and why and all of those things so by doing this in non-traditional media sphere you're actually able to be as creative as you want you're not governed by a channel politics you're not governed by time constraints and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than traditional media and radio I'm sure all of you've heard about the cost of putting an advertisement uh, in the Super Bowl like it's millions and millions of dollars. So this is about making a cost-effective way for businesses to leverage other people's platforms. So now if you type in Radio Tony, you will see a whole range of things from YouTube to Facebook and that your name is then related to my name. So the more I grow and progress, you'll always be in that family if you like. Does that make sense, Sally? Yes. <laughs> Let's have another one. Thing though, Jane, you, it's live. Um, it's live streaming, so there's gonna be things that go wrong. Like you've got to you've gotta roll. Show. Roll with the punches. You've got to roll with the punches, and I think that's a good thing for businesses to learn. That yeah, you. I'd like it to be perfect each and every every show, but it's not going to be. But that's what. That's where the gold is. People go, oh, this person's actually authentic and real and that's what connects you to your audience that realness and they're like yeah. oh wow I heard Mia on the show the other day I want to work with her I want to get my stuff done by her so that's what I'm trying to create mm. well I think there was another question oh is there another one here. hello nice to meet you um I just love what you've said and it's really touched my heart it's just beautiful and and, um, and it sounds like you really care about people and that's so important when you're working with somebody. And I have to say that's Jane as well. She's yes. really, yes. you know, been a really warm um, blanket to wrap around you when things were tough. Yes. And she just yes. keeps going, you know, she doesn't stop until it's finished and she really cares. And, you know, I've been writing my book for five years. We've just finished it. <laughs> but um, yes. Yeah, for five years I was searching for that sort of support. It's hard to find. They're, they're a labour of love. Yes, and they that's are. that's the other thing that um, when you get to, you've invested your time, money and soul in writing a book most likely and you get to the end of it and then you've got to turn around and start marketing. And I guess that's part of, uh, we, um, my co-host and I do author-specific shows and we do the same thing in a one-off show. So we talk to authors and those shows are just um, $2.95 per show and just flat rate because we understand and realise that authors are competing in a huge marketplace and there's lots of people out there doing lots of things with books. And so we wanted to create a safe space for you just to come on and talk about you and your book, that you don't have to share the space with anyone else just the whole show is about you and your book yeah, well, that's and why definitely. you wrote it and your process. That sounds fabulous. That's affordable for everyone. So I'll put my hand up for that for sure. Yes. You'd be perfect with mm. Tony. And can I just do it? 295. Yes. Fantastic. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no way. That's Absolutely. fantastic. <laughs> everyone can find that. I should get ready for <laughs> when I share this with my database, Tony. Yes. That would be yes. wonderful. That would be wonderful. because And it's like, so nice. Like to present it, sorry, it's comfort, comforting to know that you're going to be asked questions that aren't going to be too challenging, that are going to put you off kilter, to have somebody yes. that's actually a really kind soul that wants the best to come from you. And so that, that means it's just not scary then and most people can really and open up their hearts. Exactly. So it's fantastic. Yes. I'm definitely booking in for that. Oh, good one. Oh, Sharon, <laughs> really Yay. exciting. Oh, yes. I, the Sharon's other wonderful. 
Fantastic. I can't wait. I actually like to talk about the tricky stuff in life because not many people are talking about it. It's hard oh, to I agree. About. I've, I've been talking it's about this for 30 years, even before Big Brother, and I, yeah. anyone I knew that was in media, I'd yeah. say, you've got to do this reality thing because everyone's got a story and everyone loves other people's stories and people weren't doing it back. They do. But, um, yeah, here it is. It's just like, you know, it, it it's more interesting than listening to a supermodel or a, a celebrity talk about, you know, whatever you know, their career is doing. We want to know what their lives are and what their, you know, their secrets are and so that we yeah. feel okay about ourselves and we know that we're not freaks because we didn't have a perfect childhood or whatever. And it's, um, Absolutely. It, it, it's it, you're right, it, it's healing and, you know, this is what you're doing and it's a beautiful thing. So, Jane, again, oh, thank, thank you, you for finding Tony. I know. I'm very <laughs> grateful too. And I see several people unmuted. So who who's next with a great question? Hi, Jane. Uh, hi, Tony. Hi, it's here. Um, I've got Ooh. a question for you and that is um, uh, do you decide the channel's once the recording's all finished, do you then decide which channels are going to be best to market in or do you just send it out to all the channels in the world? So my policy is to send it out as far and wide as I can <laughs> so that someone in Russia goes, oh, my God, I need to work with Shika," or <laughs> someone goes, oh, my God, I need to read Sharon's book. That's my plan yeah. so the bbs radio tv has affiliates all over the world so they um the way that it works is we zoom in to um sorry i keep saying france san francisco the boys have actually just moved to houston the company's owned by these two um by twins doug and don and they are glorious human beings anyway they were in san francisco they just moved to houston so we join the platform via mm. Zoom mm. and they have what they call broadcast servers and it's those broadcast servers that spread the live show out to the US, Russia, Germany, UK, all over the world as well as we use a secondary product which streams simultaneously live into YouTube, Twitch, Facebook and LinkedIn. So I was one of the early adopters to get broadcast rights into LinkedIn. I understand from talking to many people that it's pretty difficult to get those broadcasting rights now, but but that's the way that we've set it up so that we get you live mm -hmm. as everywhere that we can across the world and then the podcast gets distributed everywhere. So I'm talking listen notes, Spotify, Audible, Amazon, uh Breaker everywhere. And then the video goes on to binge networks in the US and onto the Tony TV channel app. Now that Tony TV channel app, the registered users on those platforms is about a hundred million. And the registered users on binge TV is about 50 million. So somewhere in there, someone's <laughs> gonna see you and go, oh wow. That's the deal. Yeah. That is awesome. Does that is just Shika? amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. And, and, and in combination with that are my own channel. So Pinterest, um, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and I'm growing, actively growing and engaging with those communities. So growing that so that I can benefit those people that and businesses that work with me. Yeah. And do you, you obviously keep track of the analytics and that sort of stuff, but do you also track how long it takes for someone to feel that growth? Does it matter on the industry or the type of conversations that they have? It does. It's very, mm -hmm. very different. So some people might have not much in the way of engagement when they do their series mm -hmm. and have the engagement as time goes on like my friend working in uh, corporate governance she's mm. just it keeps happening for her whereas other businesses another company that had a wonderful uh, self-development course 
they had like instant signups in the vicinity of ten thousand uh, dollars worth of signups over the the series of their show. So it is a little bit variable. That's great. Wow. Yes. Mm. And who's next, guys, with a question? Hi, Jane. Hey, Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Um, thanks so much, Tony. This has um, been awesome. I was just going to say, Gina, um, the latest research suggests that we will all be going for non-traditional media yeah. over traditional media, that we will be picking what we want to watch and when we want to watch it, and streaming and alternates will be the way of the future. Mm. Yeah, that, that confirms what I've been seeing in the, in the past, I don't know, five years. Um, yes. Yeah I, yeah, I honestly don't watch mainstream media anymore. And I'm listening to all these yeah. amazing people using various platforms and it's like, wow, this is incredible. Yeah. I, yeah. I met the amazing Jane at one of those meetup groups and I knew she yes. was the one to, you know, help me get my book that I wanted Absolutely. To, to write for so many years. And so many people would say to me, you know, um, you should write a book, you should write a book. Anyway, yes. I think that huge big picture of me just writing a book was, <laughs> you know, just just to get that started yes. was incredible. But yes, you know, it, it it did dawn on me that because my book is really quite a mixed bag. Um, it touches on yes. domestic violence. It, it yes. touches on mindset. It touches on women in coffee because I'm a coffee expert and I have been for the last eighteen years. And it's been a real mixed bag. Oh, and it's very like, cool. Yeah, yeah. I've got my own coffee roasting company here in Sydney. Um, and mm. so I decided to, to just bundle it up as a book about resilience. Um, yes. So, But it's like, as I was writing it, I'm thinking, well, you know, once I've written it, then what do I do with it? You know, because I really do feel yes. that this book, not only has it been healing for me, but I really yes. do feel it'll have an impact because I thought it'd actually have an impact more for women because I was actually my target market or my target audience was women. But I feel yeah. I've, I've had men say to me, when are you going to finish this book? I really want to read it. So just thank you so much because thank you, Jane, for, for holding this incredible session with Tony because now I feel at peace that there's all yeah. these incredible avenues but my one question yes. is because, because my story is a bit of a mixed bag how would you find mm -hmm. how would you sort of find that particular channel or do I do I promote to the wider audience or do I be very specific in in the uh chat the target audience? I in terms of your story, that's part of the gloriousness of humans. We've all got a different and unique story and, and yours sounds incredibly unique, Gina. So I wouldn't step away from that or, or segment that. You are a, a whole human being. Your story is a whole and it's unique. Um, we're connected by stories. So in, within your book, there's lots and lots of little stories that you could tease out into a whole range of of shows or a whole range of content and I I wouldn't necessarily step away from that it sounds like a wonderful book Gina and what, what I would say Gina is I think the answer is both and we yeah. yet find once we get the book actually finished there is the question of now is this going to become an online program is this going to become one yeah. online coaching and that clarity that piece that that emerges will then to an extent make those decisions about how you use yeah. the collateral that tony produces for you yeah, this is right. all about collateral yeah. yeah thank you yeah it's been wonderful mm. hearing all yeah, this yes gina's see you might decide at the end of that book that coffee is your passion and you want to develop an online course or a, 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 a workshop around your passion for coffee. Mm -hmm. Or you might want to become deeply involved in elements of domestic violence. And, and so 
from your perspective, there's numerous opportunities for you to expand in and around one book. Mm. But sometimes that takes a little bit of time to tease that out. Yeah. And it's, it's I've not, got, not um, to mention the, the resilience. I love, you know, um, that Tony's book is called Resilience. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I should show. <laughs> and, um, oh, I'm so sorry, I missed you... the first bit. No, that's okay. Oh, wow. how, but how cool oh, is wow. that? And, oh. and really your book is about a whole lot of things in terms of mm. women, women being successful in male-dominated domains. It's yes. so it slice this up in Fantastic content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'm going to um, have to buy your book, Tony. Can I buy it on Amazon? It's on Amazon. It's and on it's Amazon, yes. Yeah. Just Resilience by Tony. And it's on Audible. And you, it's audio. You get audio. And audible. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, wow, fantastic. I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> available in all your favourite um, selling spots. Yes, yes, available everywhere. Yeah, available um, Sally's everywhere. got a question. Oh, Sally. Oh, good yeah. on you for watching, Tony. I get too carried away with the conversation. <laughs> I thought I'd better check. On. <laughs> I thought I'd better check. Um, so Sally has a question. Would you consider extension to the June package deal? Well, Sally, just for you and the listeners on here today, I would consider that. When I put my email in the chat box in a minute, just shoot me an email and say, Tony, you promised to offer me that um, uh special for June so all effectively all you need to do is pay um, a deposit of um, $9.95 and then we can do your shows six weeks four weeks down the track that just locks you into that special if that makes sense does that sound like a good deal I'll say yeah <laughs> Oh, and, and thank you. yes good sorry on. I was trying to get off the mute yes that sounds fantastic yeah, and, and good on you for asking thank you okay Natalie. yes I, I thought I'd be bold and brave all at once and ask really? um, it's not something I would normally ask but I thought you know oh, what in, the, in so the new me you did in the new me I thought well I'll ask and if you say yes you say yes and if you don't that's fine too all good I, I tell well, you what I like. love so much about this call is that so many of you and yourself included Sally so many of you guys are on a tipping point mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. now you can yep. peter on that for a really long time yep or you can have the guts to say no nah, it's my turn <laughs> mm -hmm. isn't it yeah you yeah know? Yeah. yeah, I'm really, really, yeah. really excited about this year. I just think yeah. there's something in the yes. air. And we know oh, that yeah. a lot of it's not good stuff, but there's a hell of a lot of really yeah. good stuff going there on. There is too, so, absolutely. Yeah. So can we squeeze a couple more in? Well, is it okay, Tony, can you go a little bit over time if we need to? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, oh, oh, wait a bit. <laughs> there's another oh, question yes, here. So that's just Anne saying that she has to leave. Thank you for coming, Anne. Oh, that's fabulous. And uh, who else is um, unmuted and might like to have a question? There's another question in the chat. Oh. There is. Um, have you had experience of business branding book topics? Absolutely. They're actually some of my favourite shows to do. So both one-off interviews with authors writing about business books. We did one last week um, with a guy by the name of Warren James, who has a company called Rapid Online Mentoring, and he's just released a book called Further Faster, um, and it was a wonderful show. So yes, business branded books lend themselves to either the one-off show scenario or the um, co-series show scenario, particularly business books lend themselves to the co-hosted because then we can really get into the nuts and bolts of the wisdom that you've written in the book. And then we can get to talk about all the other elements of your book as well. So yes, business branding books are great for this format, especially as um, if you do, if that's your intent, then I offer lots of little bonuses like membership to a business group and a membership course. And we'll also give you an additional interview on Radio Tony Everyday Business. A whole heap of little things that we cram into those packages just so that you get good value, you get education and you get understanding and go from there. And yes, Jane, I think that, um, that, 
2021, despite all of its hassles, is proving to be a very interesting year. I also um, think that for women in particular, I think that in the next decade, we will see amazing women doing amazing things with amazing businesses and bringing back that balance across the world. I actually have a strong belief in the rising femininity across the world. That's not to discount our amazing men and what they do, but I think now's the time for that feminine energy to rise. Beautiful. Look, we can have one more question or we can finish on that really, really pertinent point. While you're doing that, Jane, I'll quickly pop in yes, some please, link please. for everyone. Lovely. Well, look, I think this is then my opportunity. I don't see anybody with desperate questions. And, of course, you, you'll have um, Tony's email address then so that you can be in touch with Tony and really drill down on anything that you haven't had covered here or today. Or any social media. Mm. Oh, and indeed. And if you want to take advantage, anyone who wants to take advantage for um, anyone who's on the call today who wants to take advantage of that special, just send me an email. Can I have the special, please, Tony, in the subject headlines, and I'll get back to you and we'll work that out. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think you've got a whole bunch of people who are going to go off and have their afternoon on an absolute high, Tony. That has just been incredible. Oh, it's you. opened my eyes to the opportunities, you know, the things that are sort of hiding in plain sight. You know, I'm thinking, okay, this makes a heck of a lot of sense. And I'm just so grateful that I can share this with my team, my tribe, my mob, whatever you want to call them, the people who are <laughs> in particular, I seem to attract the people who are writing the book to launch their business or to take yes. that Yes. to really go exponentially yes. into doing what they know they've been put on this planet to do. So I thank you so much for your generosity, for your time, for extending the period for that special and uh, just generally for doing what you do because you, you're making a big dent thank in you. the universe yeah. and I appreciate you for that. Yeah. Now questions are I still guess coming in. The or... main thing is... <laughs> The main thing is I just wanted people to know that there's alternatives and you can create your own success your own way and not be reliant on the traditional way of thinking or the traditional way of doing things. Stepping out of that comfort zone can create something that you much better than you ever dreamed you could have. Yeah. And I'm going to be with Jane in October. I think we're going to do the yes, uh, author guess who, guess provided who. there's no... 23rd Sorry? of October, author showcase yes. event. Uh, Sharon's going to be there. Um, Sally's going to be there. Whole uh, bunch of other great people are going to be there. And um, Tony, yes, I'll meet you in person. We'll get to have that. I know, won't people. that be nice? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, um, the heavens willing in terms of uh, borders being up. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, there's that, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Thank we you will so do much, what Jane. We can. Thank you. Thank All you right. for letting me come on your show today. And bye, everyone. Thank you for listening.